what's the purpose of life? What is the purpose of a human life? Your life, my life, anyone's life. Let's eavesdrop on a conversation that I was reminded of recently, a conversation between three people representing different aspects of the world civilization, an Indian and an Egyptian and a Greek. For the Indian, religion is essentially about transcendence. God is multifaceted, but ultimately unknowable. For the ancient Egyptian, there were many gods also, but they were involved in the day-to-day -day running of the world. They were in control. And then, of course, for the ancient Greek, wisdom resided in the human soul. Three very different views of the meaning of life and the relationship to God. And how, they reasoned, can this be? How can we all have these different views? What might it look like if there was, as it were, a universal God, a God for all peoples? What might that mean? And the conclusion that they draw is that the only way that that could be would be if God were to bring all those things together and become human. Now that conversation takes place in the desert and it forms the first part of a novel written by Lou Wallace in 1880 called Ben-Hur. And I imagine perhaps you're more familiar with the film than with the novel. But that's how it begins, those three philosophers from India, from Egypt and from Greek, who we know as the wise men, the kings, the three kings or the magi. And as they come together and they have this discussion in the desert, so they go to Jerusalem in pursuit of further wisdom. And in Jerusalem, they just glimpse Mary pregnant and Joseph on their way through, passing through on their way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. And they see the star in the sky and they go to follow, to seek out the Christ, to seek the one who is to be born. And as the story continues, so we know, they go, they travel that short distance from Jerusalem to Bethlehem and they see the Christ child. They visit him, they seek him out and they find him and they offer before him their precious gifts because they realise that all they have, all their earthly treasures are as nothing compared to what they've just encountered, the God who has truly become human. And in St Matthew's Gospel we're told that because they were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they departed back to their own country by another road, by another way. And how could it not be so? Because after what they had seen, nothing would be the same again. They had had this wondrous encounter with God become human. Nothing could be the same again. So my question for us is to go back again to that timeless question, what is the purpose of human life? Those three philosophers found it, as countless other millions of people have, in the God who became human. And for them, as for those countless millions, nothing can be the same again since. We return by another way, by a better way. So my final question is, what might that be for you? If your own life is touched this Christmas by the Christmas story, and if that story has any capacity or power to convert or transform your life, how might it do so? What might that better way be, that other road? What might it look like for you and for the world in which you live? As thinking human beings, we're called to ponder these questions. And I leave those questions with you. And as you ponder them, so may God grant you his blessing this Christmas and always. A very happy Christmas indeed. <laughs>